Alright, um, this is about my third or fourth attempt at trying to um, record this video. Now, you could get paranoid, eh? That every time I try and record this video, it doesn't work. Okay, something goes wrong. So let's see if it works this time. I could get, I could get a little suspicious about what's going on there. Could be spiritual, but anyway, let's not over-spiritualise it. Yeah, I wanted to share some testimonies about healing that I've been around for or um, with people I know. So to encourage your faith and uh, hopefully um, un let you understand that God's real. He's not a figment of Christian's imagination. Um, that Richard uh, Dawkins who says the God delusion, right, wrote the book The God Delusion. Um, he really doesn't know what he's talking about. He really has no no idea at all. He's completely just in the dark. It's really sad. Okay, um, I'm a hundred and hundred percent. Okay, there's no way he's not real. Okay, um, and I'm going to share. Yes, the reason why. Okay, I've. Um, <laughs> okay, one day um, I was going on a missions trip over to a country Vanuatu with a team, a uh, team of students called Teen Missions, and we were going to build a church over there. We actually end up, we did end up building a church over in Vanuatu on an island called Amboy. Um, we made our own bricks out of the sand and the coral, but that had a mould. We brought heaps and heaps of cement and we just made built, made the bricks and built up the walls. And it was, yeah, it was a good time, six, six weeks and uh, really fun. Um, before I left though, my sister came, my younger sister came to me and said, uh, she had been diagnosed with cancer, um, and it was um, breast cancer. So that was really, really sad. And I was thinking, oh, oh no, that's horrible. So she came <laughs> basically the day before I was leaving. Uh, so me and my older sister prayed for her, and she told me uh, I I was coming back in January, so it's uh, going to be a while. And she was having her operation in February, so I thought, oh good, I've got time to come back and pray for her more. If if she needs prayer. Um, so I go, anyway, I go on the mission and I am over there and um, sometime while I'm over there, around uh, near the end of my time when I was over there, uh, weeks and weeks over there, I was in my tent asleep in the morning and God woke me up. Okay, now he doesn't normally do that, it's, it's a bit of a rarity when he wakes me up. He has woken me up before uh, in my life a few times, but not many. It's it's not not nor, it was it's not normal for me. Okay, it's very uncommon. So I can count them on my fingers how many times he's done it. Um, and this one was he woke me up in the morning. He doesn't ever do that. <laughs> okay, uh, in my tent, woke me up, and he spoke to me very very clearly, um, not audibly, but clearly. Okay, if you, if, you, if you ask a Christian how does God talk to you, you'll find uh, there's a dozens of ways he does it. Okay. Sometimes he can talk to you and it seems like it's audible. I don't think I've ever heard him audibly talk to me. Okay, I don't believe so. But I have. he has talked to me so clearly, I thought it was audible. Because it was so clear, but I'm pretty certain it wasn't. In this case, it was very clear, very easy to hear. And he said to me, pray for my sister. Now I thought, well, I, well immediately thought, why do I have to pray for my sister? She hasn't got an operation until February. Uh, but I thought, okay. So I was really worried, and I started praying for my sister and interceding for her, and doing a, really got into prayer for her. And then after a while, I thought, yep, I've, I've prayed, I've done it. I felt at ease and pe at peace. I stopped praying. Anyway, little did I know, little did I know. And see, this is the thing: if you're a skeptic out there and you don't believe God exists, well, I. You, I'd say this would be a hard testimony uh, to ignore, to be honest. Okay, because little did I know that back in the uh, back in the <laughs> uh, back in the um, uh, place where my sister was living, the city, um, she actually um, had to go to a. Um, she was called in by the doctors because her cancer had, had progressed too much, it advanced far too much. And they they um, pro they had put forward the operation early. Now I didn't know any of that that it was happening, but it happened to be when I came back. I did check out the dates and the times, and 
and sort of worked it out that the day I got woken up in my tent was the day she had been called in for the operation. I think, I think, I can't be exact, okay? But that was around the same time. Anyway, I, I got woken up, I prayed, and uh, back in um, where she was, what city she was in, she got brought in to have um, the operation early. Um, anyway, the doctors come to her, this is what happened to her when she was with the, you know, I don't know if it was a hospital or wh where it was actually where she was in. Um, I don't know if it was a surgery, a private surgery or a hospital. I can't actually remember. This was a while ago, a um, number of years ago. It might be 10 years, 12 years ago now. That's ages ago. Anyway, she um, she get, gets called in and the doctors, she, uh, she uh, might not have been a Christian. She was brought up in church. She might have been a Christian. She might not have been a Christian. Who's to say? Who knows? Okay, who knows when someone is saved and when someone isn't saved? But as far as I knew, she wasn't a Christian. Okay. So anyway, she's in. She's in the um, doctor's place. They had marked her out with a um, marked her out with a pen or something uh, where they were going to do the operation on her body. Um, and they went away. And then, and while they were away, she prayed to God and said, "Well, God, if you're going to heal me." This is it. There's no more time. She said something like that. I don't know exactly the words, but I remember it being something like, well, there's no more time. If you're going to heal me, you've got to do it now. Okay, so she said that to God, and that showed she had some faith in God, that God existed because she was actually asking him for help. Okay, So that was good. So that anyway, one of the doctors who was going to do the operation comes back and said, what's going on? And he couldn't find any evidence of the cancer. Okay, he couldn't see it or anything. And so they, he, he went and said, are you, guys, are you guys mucking around? Are you guys playing a joke on me? And they came back and they checked it. Um, I'm guessing the cancer was visible. Um, and they came back and checked it and said, we don't know what's going on. We do not know. It's gone. Okay, so for them it was like, what? is going on. They were stumped. They were mystified by it. What had happened was God had healed her. Bang. Within that time frame of them drawing out where they were going to mark her and do the operation to the doctor coming back, every all the signs, whatever it was, the lump and all, or what it, whatever it was, had disappeared. Okay, so <laughs> that's pretty good healing. That's pretty fast miracle. Uh, so that was one. And that was my sister. I was very, very um, happy about God healing my sister. I felt, you know, emotionally. Oh, that is so awesome, and um, I can't, I can't be emotional about it now. It's far too many years ago, but I was very, very grateful. Okay, because um, people who get cancer sometimes don't. God doesn't heal them, I guess, uh, for whatever reasons, and they die. Okay, so that was um, really neat. I've had friends who've died. Um, actually, people I knew have died of cancer. Uh, so it's a really horrible, it's very horrible. I've had my flatmate actually, uh, four years ago, he died of cancer, my flatmate I live with. I prayed for him, but he really didn't want to get healed. He actually wanted to go to heaven, he wanted to die. So um, I guess you're, um, yeah, I don't understand it. I don't know why. Sometimes people get healed, some pe people don't get uh, healed. Um, but I do understand he did heal my sister, and I was so happy and grateful about that. Okay, another thing, uh, which another miracle which is close to my heart, is my um, um, my mum. My mum got a um, had a problem, and she told me, and this was it was actually around the same time I think, or months later, or something like that, as my way back then with my sister, her problems, and it was something to do with I think it was a failed kidney. Um, Oh, they said it was functioning at 20% or something like that. And as what I can remember from back then was um, they don't... I think my mum had said they don't heal themselves. Once they start to fail or whatever, they don't even fix themselves. They just, you know, kaput. And she was terrified of having an operation that they were going to cut her open and have an operation. So she was really scared. So we pray, all, all pray for her, of course, all the family. Pray, 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 and um, we tr we prayed for a heaps over the months, 
months and months went by and we prayed for it, prayed for it. And the operation got closer and closer and closer. I think it actually got up to the week of the operation or even a couple of days or something before the operation. It was all the weekend before, I think it was. It was, it was really close anyway. And then God healed her. And she just knew she got it healed her. And that was it. And again, that was very, very close family member getting healed. And she didn't have to have the operation. And I was amazingly thankful to God. So that too, anyway. Um, I've had uh, my very, very youngest sister had a baby when she was pregnant. Had a baby and it was having massive complications. We had prayed for her as well. And um, her baby got healed in the womb. And that was a miracle as well. So... I've um, had my share of um, healings, family members mainly, getting healed. Um, and I've uh, also, um, and my friend actually prayed for my finger, which uh, <laughs> was really, really sore. Um, once, I think, it was like arthritis, and it was really, really painful. And he basically just prayed for it, and instantly the pain went away. So I've had, like, small healings like that. That, was, that to me, was amazing having um, instant instant healing. I thought that was awesome. He said it was real easy, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. Anyway, but I've seen uh, lots of them, and I just wanted to encourage you, it does happen.